Hi Sarah, what do you think about my nice curtain? I saw this curtain and bought it for my bathroom, you know, and I like it. It brings some colors in this video I saw that and so I sat in front of this curtain in the bathroom. Anyway, I have a nice little convo with a friend of mine on YouTube and Gmail and it started really interesting. She wrote me a letter and uh, she, she asked why people always make the same mistakes in life, or well, most people very often. And so I wrote her back, said I thought it is a part of our programming and thought it will be perhaps interesting for you too, for my little YouTube community or elsewhere and the internet because this programming stuff is quite important for us because it it prevents that perhaps it prevents uh, on the other hand it supports but for I guess many of us it prevents that we can be happy or get free of say obstacles and and burdens perhaps which we feel in our lives and I've told you that I, I think there are uh, different levels or divisions, like you want to say, of this programming. First of all, for the mind, uh, it's of course in our upbringing, because until the age of seven we are quite vulnerable for programming and it stays in our subconsciousness. So all what we experience, what we see in this time, what is said to us, uh, still sticks in our mind all of our life. And when we make a decision, we are influenced by it. And when we feel something, it's often because this early impacts are so, so powerful that that we 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 our emotions and how we see things uh, are much influenced by that. And this is in the early stage, and we have to know this. And also late in our childhood, it's so much impacts, you know. And when we then come to school and and all our educational way, it's it's pure manipulation. Of our mindset, of our attitude, of who we think we are and how we have to fit in the society. So this is not only in our professional life, it's also a part in our sexual life or in our how can I say it? Our in our attitude and all how we experience us and life. You know. And this is I guess this is the, the division of the mind to explain it and when we can analyze it we can set us free from it but there is much much more sorry and this is also part of our subconsciousness not only the subconsciousness which I've also told you in this uh, impacts from our childhood, earliest childhood or education, educational system, sorry, but also this subconscious level which is based on our soul. And my point to this is that, and I always go in this metaphysical room, you know, in this realm of the soul, because I'm convinced that our soul really decided what to what our soul wants to experience here and from what point of view our soul wants to experience here. So the start of the discussion with my friend was that she wanted to know why people always make the same mistakes in life or often make the same mistakes, not all people or many people. And so we come to this programming, you know. and. Uh, from a soul level and from an astrologic level because there is to see 
are what you want to experience very easily and from which emotional level you want to experience something or mind level. Uh, I have to say that the souls simply want really to experience it in a, in, in, in a full range, in total satisfaction. And so often people are uh, fall for the same partners. It doesn't matter if they had bad experiences before with such kind of a partner, they often fall to a new partner which is somehow the same like they had and they fall for it. I fall for the same woman most of the time even when other women perhaps would I fit better uh, would be better for me and I know it and they like me but I fall for the same and so many people do that I guess it's it's like it is coined in ourselves, you know, like it's like it is coined in our life, so makes this experience on and on and on. But when we know it and we decide not to make it, we can set us free from it. We can set us free perhaps from this um, given conscious and subconscious levels which are. Uh, coining us from our parents, from our environment as a child and as a young adult and we can set us free from uh, this circle that we always come in the same procedures to experience the same things uh, with partners or whatever. But here's the deal and <laughs> this is quite funny. I I'm not sure that it works because when it is said by our souls it, we can set us free from the first from from this mental based manipulation which is brought to us by our parents by the education system but I don't guess that we can set us free from the soul what our soul wanted that we experience here and so it's just to feel perhaps a little bit better when things are the same again and again and again and we see no real movement when we break with our soul and with the, I wouldn't say contract with our soul because this would uh, say that we are already in a, in a state where we can do it. I don't believe that, that we can do it. Uh, I would say if we break with our, really, not break with a contact, contract, but, but break with ourself, I don't believe that we will get happy. Because then again we, we do something which is not set in our, in our, how can I say it? It's the storyline of our life, you know. It's the storyline of our life set by the soul, somehow. Perhaps it's freedom when, when we see the in astrology when all the planets are on the ascendant side, since there is freedom. But also, even when there is freedom that we can choose, uh, the setting is clear. So, I don't know. It would be interesting what you think about it, if we can set us free from our programming on the educational level and on a, and from the soul level. So just some thoughts and I wish you a nice week. Namaste.